Roche. Welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing amazing, y'all. I have been on hiatus and it feels amazing. Toast to the summer. <laughs> Toast to the summer, baby. Y'all know I got my bougie glass that my good, good girlfriend Nikki made for me. My lemon's a little drunk. It's okay. All right. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Y'all know I got my lemon water? Let's go. Let's get right into it. Well, first of all, before I would be remiss if I didn't do this. Hello, all my day ones. Love you. Hello, all my new subscribers. Hello, hello, hello. You could be anywhere in the world listening to anybody else, but you are sitting here listening to me, and I'm so grateful for you. So hello to you, and thank you for joining the family of Becoming Better Not Better. Let's get into it, y'all. Now, look. Just a little background real quick. You know your girl been around around town and back again. So she gets outside sometimes and she been seeing some things. And I've been seeing some things I don't like too good. Okay, make sure I ain't greasy because y'all, I don't know if y'all in the DMV, y'all in the Maryland, Baltimore metro area. It's hot. Yo, it's hot. Okay, it is, it's blazing outside, all right? I went and got a blowout yesterday. I had curls and look how straight I am today, but it's okay because you know we had to do our lymph check, our treatment, our trim to get ready to go back up to our protective styles because this is a lot. My girl said, put me up, take me out the game. But look, let's get into it. Stop shooting your shot. Stop it. I've been seeing it. I have been seeing it. I have seen it in full throttle. I have seen it passively. I have seen it, okay? And ladies, it's not a good look. Despite, I'm gonna tell you, grandma ain't never told you no lies. The more birthdays I have, the more I realize that grandma was right where she needed to be. Grandma lived. Grandma knew the game. Grandma told you stop chasing after that boy that wasn't no good. Grandma told you stop riding that man around in your car. Grandma told you stop giving that man money. Grandma told you don't buy the car when you can get the milk for free. Grandma told you. She, I'm here to validate grandma. Shout out to my grandmothers who rest in heaven. Shout out to my mother. Shout out to my mother. I feel like my mother with, with this hair too. Shout out to my mother. Queen of all queens. Listen. Rest easy, my. All I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. So your girl's in rare form. She been off. She been chilling. But we're going to get into it. So I got a thought here. I got eight points. Y'all know I start with the number eight. My birthday has two eights in it. And eight is a power number, a number of new beginnings in biblical terms. But we're going to start here. I said, you could be thinking that no one approaches you. That's why you shooting shots, Okay. And that could be for various reasons why people are not coming up to you. Maybe God wants you to focus on you right now. If that resonates, comment below. Let me know. Maybe you are in the wrong circles with the right people or with the wrong people in the right circles. Maybe you need to spruce yourself up a bit. Yeah, I said it. Spruce yourself up a bit. Stop going outside with that dingy t-shirt. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe you need to spruce yourself up a bit. Maybe you need to work on your attitude. It could be several things. The reason why people are not approaching you. I don't know you personally, but I know that I've seen some stuff out here and I feel like y'all my family. So we're going to talk candid today. But what I need you to stop doing is shooting that shot. And I'm about to tell you why. Number one, they saw you. You were out. <laughs> you were out and about. They saw you, baby. They saw you. Okay, they saw you. And I want you to know that men don't miss nothing. I know it's predominantly women that watch me. Um, men, if you're here, hello, welcome. Um, if this resonates, however it resonates. But this is specifically for women shooting shot at men, okay? All I'm saying is he saw you, babe. He saw you because men don't miss nothing. Men are hunters. They wait to pounce when they feel the time is right. You reverse the roles when you do that. And it's a lot of things that come from that that are not positive, okay? One positive that you may get from it is that you went after what you wanted. I mean, I'm an ambitious girly. I understand the premise, but go after your goals. Run after making yourself the best virgin that you could be so you can attract the right people in your life. Use your energy and your and your drive for that, okay? Number two, it can alter God's plan in your life. 
and who he wants in it. Maybe that person didn't approach you because they felt something on you that God put on you that said, no, leave my girl alone. Go try that game with somebody else. I need y'all to rewind that joint real quick. It, it can alter God's plan in your life and who he wants in it. He don't want everybody to, he don't want everybody to experience you. You know why? Because you're precious precious cargo. He doesn't want every, he don't want you to be for everybody. He don't want you to be for them streets. He don't want that for you, babe. He does not. He wants the ultimate top of the top. He wants the best baby. Number three, you are seeing with your human eyes, which caused the attraction in the first place. When God is seeing this person's heart and intentions, you've got to remember God is everywhere. He's everywhere. He knows everybody. He knows everything. He knows what's going to happen in the long run. He knows if you get hooked up with this one, then it's going to really alter the plan that he has for your life. Greatness and blessings are up in the heaven waiting to sprinkle down on you. And the reason why they haven't, because you got the wrong people in your life. I'm preaching to somebody. Give me a shout out. All right. Um, number four. You end up playing second fiddle and they end up settling for you. Who wouldn't eat? Okay, let's take this for example. This is a good example. Y'all know I love an analogy. Who wouldn't um who wouldn't eat a cupcake if they love cupcakes, but they already ate and they're not hungry? We've all done it. Somebody's come in, they have your favorite food or snack. You've already eaten. Oh, I'll taste take a piece. You'll take a piece, but that ain't what you wanted. You already ate. You're full, but you just were like, okay, I'll take a piece. You don't want, you don't want to be somebody's you'll take a piece. You don't want to be nobody's you'll take a piece. Okay. You're better than that. You're more than that. You are the main course, baby. The food is not served until you're ready. You are the turkey at Thanksgiving, the macaroni and cheese, the Hawaiian roll. You are everything that gets put together on that nice plate. And if they not ready to take all that's on that plate, then they ain't ready for you. Let's go. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Or I have an example that I did write down for you. That came straight off the dome. But I do have one that I wrote an example for you. You wanted Chinese food, but the only restaurant that was open was Jamaican. So you ate that. That's what it's like when you shoot your shot. You don't know what that person's, person's preference is. You don't know if they're really attracted to you. They could have been like, oh, well, you know, she, she seemed desperate. So I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to smash and then I'm going to pass. Let's go. We talking facts today. Number five, you protect yourself from rejection, which builds your self-worth and confidence. You protect yourself from rejection because rejection will tear down your self-worth and your confidence. Who needs it? Let me tell you something. We live in a day and time when we are seeing too much of people. We are seeing too much of what they have going on. We are seeing too much of bodies. We are seeing too much of a whole lot of things that we could we could do without. And that we were not used to experiencing. So you're experiencing glimpses into people's lives that you didn't know you would have never known in real life. Celebrities are at your fingertips now. What they're doing, whether they choose to post or not, you still it's, it's invasive. And see, what happens is you're comparing honestly to other people. I'm taking my time today because somebody need this. Somebody need this wisdom. Somebody needs this wisdom, wisdom today. Thank you, Lord, for the downloads. All I'm telling you right now, you do not have to put yourself in a position. And then what if that man don't want it? Would that man be like, no, thank you. And look at you funny. Who needs that? You may not be his cup of tea, but you are somebody's everything. You are somebody's main course, baby. And don't you ever forget it. Okay. Number six. Number six. You will end up leading 
and chasing the relationship from start to finish. My, like my mother used to say, we ain't starting that. Why would you start? You, you start, start the way you want to finish. You want this man. What grandma say? He need to like you a little bit more. Grandma, what grandma say on line one? Baby, sweetie, he need to love you a little bit more than you love him. That don't mean you don't love him. That grandma ain't say don't love him. Grandma said he got to love you a little bit more because men are selfish innately. They just are, you know. We love them, but they selfish, okay? They going to operate what's in the best interest of them. And if that's playing with you for a little while, for you to be a seat filler until he finds his dream girl, then that's what he going to do. Don't miss this game. Don't miss this game. Hmm. Putting y'all down today. A man treats you better when he wants you. <laughs> a man you treats you like an op when you feel like, when you put yourself in a position to make yourself an op. You ain't nobody's op. All right, let's go. Number seven. You are perceived as desperate and thirsty with very little options. And men love a woman who has options because when she allows him in her space, in her life, he feels like he feels like he won a prize because he know everybody ain't welcome. Be exclusive. Now, I'm going to tell you the downside of being exclusive. I'm going to have a video on that. One of the downsides of being exclusive is being lonely. I ain't even going to sit in front and hold y'all. I ain't going to sit in front and hold y'all. That is, but at the end of the day, you will not stay lonely forever, okay? And number eight, and I'm going to leave you with this. You deserve to be picked. You deserve to be picked. That shiny apple at the top of that apple tree is going to sit there longer. Because it has to be somebody that wants to climb that tree for that shiny red apple. So while you are waiting for somebody to climb that tree for that red and shiny apple, which is you, you're not that dull, bruised, rusted apple at the bottom of the tree hanging or lying in the dirt waiting for somebody to pick because that's easy pickings. You take your time and you become that red, shiny, untouched apple. Everybody ain't fondling you. Everybody ain't handling you. And everybody ain't going to do the work to get or keep you. That's what you need to be because that's where the best is. That's where God's favor is. That's where God's promise is. And that's the best he has for you. That's all I got to say, Lord. I love y'all. Know that. Know that I love you. Know that um, I want the very, 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 very best for you. I need y'all to do me a favor. Take the time out. Thumbs up this video if you like this content. Subscribe if you like the content. I also have, I didn't even know, I created almost 200 videos. I have 170, 71 videos. This will be 172 on my channel. Go watch them. I've talked about a myriad of topics. But next time, we are going to be talking about the pick -me's. Okay, so I want you to thumbs up this video, hit the subscribe button if this is your jush, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, y'all. That brings me to my spiel, and I'm saying it emphatically and with passion like I've never said it before. Ain't nobody better than you. Take it in. Ain't nobody better than you, and you deserve the best out of life. All right, y'all. I hope this message has inspired you. I hope this message found you blessed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next